In this lesson, we will learn how to use a graphing calculator to solve rational equations such as these. I'll be using the TI 84 plus silver edition. I'm not going to do all eight of these problems because the process is the same over and over again. Um, but I'll do, you know, two or three. So let's look at problem number one. For example, we are going to type this equation into our calculator in two parts. Um, so one way to do it is to uh, let the left side of the equation be one function and let the right side of the equation be the other function. So you, we would have this. This is one way to do it. Um, the other way is to get zero on one side. So if I were to add six to both sides, uh, then this equation would become, um, this would become three over x plus five plus six equals zero. And then I could still do the same thing, um, but you know, I'll just put it up here actually. This would be y1, okay, would be all of this. And then y2, would simply be zero. So this is the other way to do it. Um, each one has its advantages. I'll show it both ways just this once. So 3 over x plus 5. If I hit my y equals button, now if I want to go into fraction mode, I can hit alpha y equals and uh, option number one, or I could just hit enter. Uh, now, if your calculator doesn't have the latest update, then it might not do this, and you'll have to do it slightly differently. Um, but uh, yeah, update your calculator if you're not seeing this. Anyway, you made me forget what it was. Um, three over x plus five. So I'm gonna go three over x plus five. There's my first equation. And now my second equation is simply negative 6. So negative 6. All right, let's take a look at the graph and see how we're looking so far. OK, so you see this horizontal line at negative 6? That's the, that particular function. Now the solution is going to be uh, the intersection of these two. All right, and you can see this uh, function with the two branches. That was y1 and uh, the straight line, that's y2. So there's just the one intersection. So if we hit second trace to get to the calculate menu, you see that option number five is for intersections. So I can just hit five. Now I find it helpful to jump to the uh, horizontal line. So uh, you can hit the up key or the down key. So that way uh, I can just slide my way over near the intersection point very easily. Okay, and I'm just going to hit enter three times. And here's the intersection. Uh, I don't need to worry about the y value, of course that's negative six. Um, it's the x value which is the solution. So negative 5.5. Okay, and that's how you do it. So the solution to this would be x equals negative 5.5. Yes, it's just that easy. Um, notice that uh, you would get the same thing if uh, you typed in the pink version of this. Okay, so if I go back to y equals, so if I instead made this, if I instead made this plus 6 and I made this equation 0, Okay, let's take a look at that. <clears throat> okay, now um, the uh, second equation is zero. So this is still the intersection point, so the rest is really the same. I could hit second trace, five for intersection. I'm gonna jump down to be on the horizontal line, get over there close to it, enter, enter, enter. And again, I get the same value of negative 
The advantage of doing it this way is that the x-axis is always going to be what you're looking for, the intersection with the x-axis. So you'll never have to hunt around changing the window dramatically to find the uh, x-intercept, all right? Because the calculator always starts off uh, with the x-axis right in the middle of your screen. That's the advantage. The disadvantage is that you have to do this extra step of moving this over, um, which is pretty simple, but, you know, some kids can uh, mess up a simple step. So, you'll have to choose which way you want to do it. So, let's do number two as another example. Um, again, I could uh, put the uh, left side as one equation, so this could be my y1, and I could put the right side as my other equation, so this could be y2. Alright, I'm just going to do it that way for now, and see how that works out. So, hit my y equals, I'm going to clear this stuff out of there. So I've got 2x minus 3 over x minus 1. So again, fraction mode, I hit alpha, y equals, enter. Okay, so here's 2x minus 3 over x minus 1. Okay, that's my first equation. Now, the other equation is 2 over x. So, alpha y equals, enter. I should have cleared all this out. Let me try that again. Okay, and I'll have 2 over x. All right, let's look at the graph, see what we've got. Okay, so there's a little bit more craziness going on. By the way, you're supposed to draw a picture of this. I'm not going to draw a picture because, look, there's the picture. It's drawn for you right here on the screen right now. So uh, there's no need for me to draw this again. Um, but you will need to draw this picture on your paper. Um, anyways, I see two intersection points. There's one here and one here. So um, again, second trace, um, option five for intersection. Now this one's already pretty close. It's going to get a little bit closer. Hit enter, one, two, three. Okay, so I have a solution at point five. Um, so x equals point five, which we all probably recognize is one half. So that's one solution. Um, how about this one over here? Let's see if I can get over there. Oh yeah, I have to do it again. Second, trace, five, once again. Now I'm going to try to get on over there. And here we go. Enter, enter, enter. This one is at two. So x equals two. So these are the two solutions, one half and two. And that is how you do that. All right, I'm not going to do the calculator thing all over again, but please understand that I could have typed it in this way with y1. Um, if I wanted to get 0 on one side, it would be a matter of subtracting this fraction from both sides. So I could have typed it in as 2x minus 3 over x minus 1, and then minus 2 over x. Okay, and then I could have let y2 be 0. Okay, either way, it's all good. I'm not going to do it again, though. Okay, uh, take a look at number 3. Okay, let me clear that out. While I'm at it, I think I'll clear that one out, too. So we'll do alpha y equals enter. And I have x squared over x squared minus 9. Okay, that's my one equation. Now my other equation will be the 4 over here. So I can just type in 4. Let's take a look. Okay, so the intersections are here and here. 
okay this straight line is the uh, y2 so I will hit second trace 5 for intersection and again it'll be easier for me if I jump up to the horizontal line so I can just go straight on over there without any shenanigans okay and hit enter three times okay so I've got this negative 3.46 okay so x is equal to negative 3.46 obviously that's an approximation but uh, that's going to be good enough and I will hit second trace 5 again once again I will jump to y2 and I will slide on over to the other intersection point and hit enter three times one two three and positive three point four six okay so that would be the solution to number three okay um let's do one more this one i'm going to do letting zero uh by the method of having zero on, on one side so if i want to bring this fraction over um see how it's positive right now it'll simply be negative on the other side because i'm subtracting the entire fraction so um, this is going to become 5x over x minus 1 minus 2 minus 14 over x squared minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so this entire thing right here is going to be my y1. And this little guy right here is going to be my y2. Now I could have easily done it the other way. I, just, I did it the other way uh, two problems in a row. So I thought I'd do it this way for once. Okay, so let's get to typing. First I need to hit my y equals and clear some stuff out of here. Alright, might as well clear this out too. Now my y2 I know it's zero. That's another advantage of doing it this way. The second one doesn't change so I could just leave it zero all the time okay so what do I have I have 5x over x minus 1 okay alpha y equals enter so I have 5x over x minus 1 then I have minus 2 and then I have minus 14 over x squared minus 1 so minus and alpha y equals enter and I think it was 14 over x squared minus 1 whoops I messed up my x squared somehow okay yep okay so it's all ready to go so I'm gonna hit graph now again the benefit of this method is I don't have to hunt over the screen looking for the intersections um, because it's intersecting with zero it's intersecting with the x-axis so kabam and kabam I can just look straight there okay so I will do my second trace five uh, I will jump to the horizontal line by hitting the down arrow and I will shimmy my way over here and enter 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 so negative three okay so that's my first solution so x equals negative three now I know there's another one so again I will hit second trace Five for intersection. I will again hit the up arrow key to jump to the horizontal line. And I will shimmy my way over. 
Okay, so it's very close to here. I'm going to hit enter three times. One, two, three. Okay, and that is 1.3 repeating. Now I could probably turn that into a fraction if I really wanted to, by the way. 1.3 repeating. One, 3 repeating is 1 third. So this is 1 and 1 third. 3 times uh, 1 is 3. Um, plus 1 is 4. So this is 4 thirds. Okay, but whatever. This is good enough. Okay, so that is the same thing as 4 thirds. All right, I think that is enough of an example. Okay, I've done half the problems on this particular sheet. Okay, um, there's no point in doing the other four because it's going to be the same process over and over and over again. I think you get it.